Today's video is actually a follow-up to a question that was in my bootcamp Q&A earlier today. It was a really good question that I think that anybody who is in the job industry or in the job hunt or knows somebody who's looking for jobs should definitely know about. And the question was, what AI technologies are you currently using? They asked if I'm using GitHub, Copilot, ChatGPT, MidJourney, etc. And Really quickly, just to answer that, mostly using ChatGPT and MidJourney. I use MidJourney a lot, but I want to talk about the ChatGPT part and specifically about one of the key things that came up during this discussion. You can use ChatGPT to generate all kinds of cool text and stuff. I'm sure you've seen lots of videos about it already. You can use it to generate code and other different types of things. I've used it for game design docs, different ideas, and full-on documents, but I think code is probably the coolest part. But today, I want to talk about the thing that I think everybody should be using it for, or everybody should know about, and that's using it to write a cover letter for getting yourself a job. Now, if you haven't seen this in action before, let me just show you really quickly how powerful and how easy it is so you can kind of understand why I'm saying this is important and why you should start to use this. If you don't normally write cover letters, well, this is going to save you a ton of time. So let's start by just taking a look at some jobs online. Here I'm on the CyberCoders page, and you can see they've got quite a few different game dev jobs. Uh, I've searched for Unity, and you can see... Lots of things here. I'm going to go up to this top one, though, and we'll just copy the description here. It's a senior Unity developer focusing on VR. I'll copy this entire post all the way down to the preferred skills. And then I'm going to open up my chat GPT window. I'll start a new chat. And I'll say write a cover letter for this job and add in some space and paste in that job description. And look at what we get. Dear hiring manager, I'm excited to apply for the senior Unity developer position with your startup company that specializes in creating virtual reality training systems for pilots. With my five plus years of experience in Unity development and my expertise in C-sharp and virtual reality, I'm confident in my ability to contribute to your team and make an impact on your company. And it's going to keep writing here. It says in my senior role or my previous role as a senior developer, I had the opportunity to develop and implement new features for VR applications using, and you can see it's going on talking about me using C Sharp, Unity and VR. I've collaborated with my team to come up with innovative ideas. And it's essentially giving us a lot of the key things that they're looking for. Now, some of these things may not be true about me, right? Like I might not have four years of experience with Unity and C Sharp, or five plus years of experience. So I, in that case, say, I actually have 10 years of Unity and C Sharp experience. And now it's just gonna update it. It should tell me the new version where it says that I've got 10 years of experience. And my recommendation for using this is to start pasting in your job descriptions, look through what's there, tell it the things to correct, then copy and paste it and do a little bit of hand modification as well. You can go in and add a little bit of stuff specific to the company or reword things just a little bit. But using this as a starting point is going to make a huge difference. It's going to set you kind of, I think, ahead of everybody who doesn't use this or doesn't write a cover letter. Some people write cover letters on their own. They do a great job. Some people write cover letters and they're terrible. And a lot of people, most people just don't write cover letters at all. So if you just do this and you start adding on these cover letters to your job applications. It'll make a huge difference. It'll set you aside and put you to the top and it's almost no work. And then when they ask about it, if, if somebody says, hey, how did you generate or do these cover letters or something? It's not going to come up. But if they did, you can just mention that you're using AI to generate these things and building that up. And that's another skill that they're going to be interested in and want to know more about. So here I would say... In this case, you're definitely going to want to change things because it says airline customers. And I'm pretty sure that this was um, something about the military airplanes. So you'll want to make sure that that's, that's corrected. But you can do this for all the different kinds of jobs. Let's go do it for one more job. Let's go take this um, VR job here. Just copy the entire thing with all everything that they want. And we'll paste it in. Let's say, here, let's start a new chat even. So it's got new context. Right. If I can type right, a cover letter for this job. Oh, here, and let's give it some info. I have 10 years of experience 
with Unity and C Sharp plus seven, let's say five years of VR experience. I also released a few VR launch titles. Here, let's move. I'm going to put that at the front, give it some context, and then I'll tell it to write a letter, a cover letter for that job. Let's see if it'll do it. Dear hiring manager, I'm excited to apply for this senior position, blah, 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 with over 10 years of experience and five years of VR experience. It's starting to know all of my stuff. And you can see it, it'll start to mention that my launch titles and the other things that I put in here. So this, again, super great time saver. If you're not using it, you should. And you don't have to necessarily be doing this for a game dev job. This will work for just about any kind of job. As long as there's a job description with lots of info, you can grab this and just paste it in and get a good starting point. If you don't like the one that you get first, generate a couple of them. Hit the regenerate button, see what you get, and try out uh, to find the best one, I'd say, and then submit that. Way better than not submitting anything, though. So definitely try it out, get in there, and start using it. And if you're curious about this and other AI stuff that I'm doing for game dev, make sure that you check out the boot camp down below. And if this was useful at all, please hit the thumbs up button. Also, if you've been using AI stuff for job um, searching and job getting, please drop a comment down below and let me know what, what else you've been doing because I'm curious to see what other types of things are out there and just give people the best possible advice and kind of guidance to help them find, find good positions with this stuff. So, all right, thanks again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out all the stuff below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.